So in this question, we have a cylinder of radius r that is spinning about a horizontal axis with an angular speed of omega. There is a small block lying on the inner surface of the cylinder. The coefficient of friction between the block and the cylinder is mu. We have to find the value of omega for which the block does not slip with respect to the cylinder. So let's say at some general time, the block makes an angle theta with the vertical. So now let's mark the forces on this. So the forces on the block are, uh, so clearly there is normal from the surface. If we take the frame of reference as a cylinder, we have to apply a radially outward centrifugal force and there is weight of the block which can further be broken down into mg sine and mg cos and so hence obviously the friction will act in this particular direction. This is the FBD of the block at a general theta and clearly the block has to be at rest. F must be equal to mg sine theta and normal must be equal to this particular value. So the condition that was required in the question was that the block should not slip. So which means F basically must be less than or equal to mu times a normal reaction. After solving this inequality, you will get a condition for omega. And what this condition actually says is that at any general theta, omega has to be greater than this particular value so as to ensure that the block does not slip. So at, if we take gen random points on the circular path, then at those random points, the omega limiting would be different. So if we can find out the maximum value of these individual omega limiting values, then that would be the omega limiting for the entire vertical circular motion, right? So what I'm trying to say is, let's say if we take point one, point two, and point three, and at point one, point two, point three, they will have different omega limiting values. Let's say omega one, omega two, omega three are the respective values. So if omega two is the greatest out of this, and if I rotate the block with an angular velocity of omega two, then we can ensure that the block does not slip at one and three. So basically we have to find the maximum of this expression. So any expression of the form a sin x plus b cos x has a maximum value of under root of a squared plus b squared. So from here, the maximum value of sin theta minus mu cos theta would be under root of one plus mu square. And so which means omega minimum at which we have to rotate the cylinder would be this particular value. And so the answer to the problem will be omega must be greater than or equal to this particular value so as to ensure the block does not slip. So do like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video guys and thanks for watching.